The normal distribution is sometimes called a bell curve or a Gaussian distribution. And there are two main distributions that we care about regarding the normal distribution. The PDF, the probability density function. So that's um, the PDF is 1 over the standard deviation times the square root of 2 pi times e, well, the exponent of negative 1 half times x minus mu over sigma squared. Okay, what does that even mean? Well, PDF, your probability, f of x, is the probability of you of a value occurring, a value x occurring, given the standard deviation and mean. Okay, so that's this graph over here. As you can see, at zero standard deviations away from the mean, so the mean, we have the highest probability of getting the of, of getting a value that is the mean. And as we step away from the mean, it curves down and our probability gets lower. So a lot of times you'll hear about six sigma and a six sigma spread. That's because everything between minus three and plus three standard deviations away, so six sigma, is more than 99%. So that comes out to, I think, 30 parts per million failing if you're within that six sigma, okay? So that's where it comes from. It actually comes from the normal distribution, which is kind of cool. Um, the other one that you're gonna care about, and this one is, is really m more important. The probability density function makes more sense where I can actually say, well, the probability of me pulling this number out of the distribution is this percent. Cumulative distribution function is a little less intuitive. And what it is, is it's actually the integral. So if you were to integrate your probability density function, you would get your cumulative distribution function. So if you know anything about integration, what integration does is it's actually adding the area, it's taking the sum of the area underneath whatever function you're integrating. So what that means is, in this case, if we're adding up, like let's say we want to get this, cumulative distribution function at the mean. So we know that the probability is gonna be a little under 40%, okay? If we were to integrate it, what we're actually doing is adding up the probability of getting every single value less than or equal to the mean. So that means the cumulative distribution function, f of x, is actually, if you were to plug in x, it's telling you the probability of you getting a value less than or equal to that value, okay? That value of x. And the formula for that is one half times one plus the Gaussian error function of x minus mu over sigma square root two, where mu is the mean and sigma is the standard deviation again, okay? The error function is not something you could ever do by hand. Um, it's something that computers have to approximate. So don't worry about that. Use Excel or, or use some other software to get that. But just know that um, in this case, this is what we're going to use most in engineering. And there's some really cool things we can do with them, such as capability like a PPK. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend it. Um, it's a real-life application of a cumulative distribution function for the normal distribution.